The ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine has had drastic consequences across the globe, whether it be loss of human life, geopolitical instability, supply chain disruptions or rising gas prices. Despite Russia instigating the conflict, they have ultimately reaped almost no benefit and instead have been smacked with a host of sanctions. With the war now entering its fourth month, Russia now faces a new battle, with the country likely to enter its first major foreign debt default many years after the first time it's happened. This development comes after a grace period on two international bond payments lapsed at the end of last week. The last time the country defaulted on its international debt was all the way back in 1917 during the Bolshevik Revolution. The revolution that took place almost a century ago resulted in the collapse of the Russian Empire and the creation of the Soviet Union. As a result of sanctions and ongoing fighting, Russia's poor economic situation has been exacerbated. The country currently owes about 40 billion US dollars in foreign bonds. Most of its gold and foreign currency reserves that have been held overseas are now frozen. Its euro bonds have traded at a depressed rate since the war began and the country's central bank's foreign reserves remain frozen and the biggest banks in the nation have been cut off from the global financial system. The Russian government, however, is rubbishing such claims. Russian Finance Minister Anton Silyanov recently made a statement saying that the country has enough money and there is also a readiness to pay, suggesting that the quality of life for Russian residents would not be impacted and that suggestions surrounding the debt were simply a smear from UN powers. The situation in Ukraine remains largely unstable and is set to continue to have far-reaching implications on a global scale. For Russia, it's becoming apparent that there is perhaps little to no gain from the situation and with each passing day, there is more to lose. When do you think we'll see an end to the Russia-Ukraine war? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and share the video. For more content, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. I'm James, reporting for Kalkine.